G'day, my name's Vaughan Ryan from Motor Retro. I'd like to introduce you to the new Metal Master PHM 560 electric power hammer. This machine is capable of forming 1.2 mild steel or 1.6 aluminium. The machine is made of 12 millimeter plate steel and it's got a sturdy steel base as well. We use the machine for metal forming or metal shaping in the application of automotive motorcycles or aircraft. It comes with a very broad range of tooling as well. So let's take a look at the machine. Some of the features of the machine, you have variable speed. Variable speed is good for electric planishing or high speed planishing. And you can also use it for low speed on basically things like uh, thumbnail shrinking dies and also joggling, stepping. You've also got the adjustable backstop, which is great for doing floor pans or firewalls where you want a parallel swaged or form piece. The backstop for this machine has two different height settings for different height tooling. The other thing is you can adjust your tooling or the backrest all the way up to the tool post to give you a nice tight clearance and run parallel pieces with this backstop. You can adjust your height through here as well. We can also change over to this roller where you can run parallel with a concave or convex cut. The pedal that can move around either side of the machine and you also have additional cutouts, emergency stops on the machine as well and you've also got the spring or rigid mode to assist with planishing or the metal forming. So with spring or rigid mode, these are good for high speed planishing where you have it as solid or rigid. And then on your metal forming side, we're using thumbnail shrinking dies, or you can use anything in a low speed application, stepping, joggling, swaging, etc. That's where you would use the spring mode. Just to demonstrate the difference between soft and rigid mode, we'll turn the machine off and we'll change the setting that's soft. This is rigid. The springs won't extend down any further and that's the mode that we use for planishing. We have an adjustable hand wheel to control the stroke so that when you set your tooling clearance you'll get it perfect. When we're setting the clearance on our tooling we need to make sure that we've got slightly less than material thickness so that the radial or lineal stretching dies etc work correctly. With the top planishing hammer set on the bottom of its stroke, you can then adjust your lower wheel up until you get a sliding clearance like this. You then adjust this C-spanner nut until that locks. You then lock off the little knurled nut, the jam nut on the bottom, and that way you've got the correct clearance for your material. Once we've set our tooling, we just need to check a couple of things prior to running the machine. You need to make sure that the tooling is level around the tooling, that the bottom post is obviously centered, etc. That the point of contact between the hammer and the dolly is in the middle. With the machine, you also get this great range of tools that are really good value for money. We get lower dies for planishing and roughing out, also upper dies radial stretching or lineal stretching, planishing, the cup holders to also accept round dies. These will also accept the nylon dies for planishing aluminium. You get the shrinking dies, louver dies, and three different size swaging dies. This backstop allows you to do concave or convex cut edges. You will also get these tool holders so that you can custom make your own dies to do whatever you require. We've got these custom die holders that come with your machine as part of the package and we've made these dies to suit this machine. You can make your own dies to suit whatever purpose you want, swage, steps, joggles, 